CEO in, in a company, I spent, one thing I did is I spent one-on-one -on -one time with the top 50 people of the company. I wanted to get to know them. I wanted to figure out what they thought I should be working on, what the problems were. But I also wanted to challenge each person and ask them whether they were up for the challenge. Are you really able to provide the leadership? Are you tired? Are you committed? Can you move forward with enthusiasm? And I found many, many times, more than I would have thought, some of our, our, the employees, some of the leaders of the company said no. That they really weren't sure that they could continue the battle. They were tired. Well, now's not the time for half-hearted leadership in any business or in any company. Not in this industry. It's too hard. There's too much change to take place. It's time to really assess whether you have the right people, the right team, the right enthusiasm, the right leadership, and the right energy. And if you don't, fix it. And that applies to you as a person. Are you there? Can you, can you be counted on? And, and, and I think it's important for all of us to ask ourselves that question each and every day. Because if you lead people, those people deserve the best. They deserve the best leadership. Leadership that is clear about where to go. A leadership that's honest, has high degrees of integrity, and can, can lead an organization, lead a group of people through tough challenges. Very, very essential. Because it is, at the end of the day, all about people. And then the last point I'd make is about point I make about focus. It's a simple word. It's very hard to do. I've relied on being more focused throughout my career. When I've had tough business problems and I've been facing a very long list of issues and problems, I always try to say to myself, what are the few things that I have to do to succeed, to get momentum? What few things can I focus on to get the ball rolling and then build more momentum? And that's usually not what people do. If you have a lot of problems and a lot of issues, you tend to want to address them all. That's natural. If your business isn't growing, you have a tendency to say, well, if I have four products, I should have eight products. More is better. In this business, that's wrong. Less is more. Doing a few things well, putting all your energy around a few things is very, very critical when you're running a business or you're giving your team direction. They really need to know what's the most important things that I have to complete. I also find this true as a guideline for your personal management and your personal time. I hate when I work hard in a week and at the end of the week I look back and say, what did I accomplish? What measurable thing that I complete. And if I, can't, if I can't identify a few things, I feel really bad. I get really frustrated with myself. And so now I start out each week saying, okay, I'm going to work hard this week, but at the end of the week, I'm going to make sure that at a minimum I do these few things. That I, that I win this business, or that I make this, this decision, or that I, I, I move this program forward, whatever the case may be. And that way I can look back and know that I've made progress, that I haven't just touched everything, I haven't just been in a lot of meetings, met with a lot of people, talked, worked hard, and then said I didn't get anywhere. So focus is key. That means do the fewest number of new products that you can. Have the right number of customers, not too many, not too few. Make decisions around focus in your time as well as your business because you'll be surprised how much success you can get and how wonderful momentum is. And you can only get momentum if you focus on a few things. I also say here it may take longer, and that frequently means that lots of our businesses, uh, we're in a tough spot in the industry today. We can't borrow money. We can't sell stock. We have to make do with what we have. And that means we have to focus, pick the few things that are critical, and make sure we can self-fund our own existence, because that's the state of our industry. It's a tough time. It's very hard. And so we have to be able to operate with, with the assets that we have. That means that we frequently have to then say we need to do fewer things.